surrounded by a swarm of bees. A woman and her 86 year old father attacked in a Phoenix neighborhood. Dad even put on his own bee suit. ABC 15's Venton Blandin caught up with the man near Tatum in Cactus. I stung uh, about four or five times out in the back. Today? Today. In all of Louis Buchanan's years of raising bees as a hobby, he does not remember being attacked. There's one coming right now. After giving up that hobby decades ago, the Army veteran now found himself in a new battle with, you guessed it, killer bees. Man, they came after me, but I had the bee suit on, so... Uh, but I jerked around and my hat fell down <laughs> over my face. So The 86-year-old says he was in the yard trying to get rid of the bees after he says one stung him two weeks ago. That's when they all cut loose and they really went over the top of me. In fact, my <laughs> chin is a little, a little numb from the venom. Buchanan's daughter rushed outside to help, but was helpless. And she had no bee equipment on. <laughs> so she, she came back to help you. Yeah, and I said, get back in the house, get back in the house. Uh, you can't, uh, uh, you, you can't keep the bees away from me. She called Phoenix Fire. The Cliff Castle chopper was above Buchanan's home after firefighters sprayed foam to save the elder Buchanan from the bees. I told her to stay in the house, but she didn't do it. Yes. She was worried about me. His daughter was stung a few times too. Thankfully, everyone is okay. And thanks to Phoenix Fire, Buchanan says Africanized bees aren't the only ones getting his respect. They're fine people, and I have a great deal of respect for them. Bee season in the valley is typically during the spring and summer, but attacks like these are certainly possible even during the fall months. In Phoenix, Vincent Bland in ABC 15, Arizona.